right there. probably upload that we have drummers on the channel we have people who like music who like uh axes so speaking of axes see the, uh, friends i've been uh, i mean i've always loved thin handles but i can't i would be afraid to sell handles that I like on axes to, to, to not novice, but anybody who's start, listen, here, here it is in a nutshell. This is what I'd like to see for people who are getting into chopping either fire, uh, splitting firewood or chopping logs or using an ax. I, I urge you to get into axemanship, young gentlemen, women, children, even seriously under the proper tutelage. Friends, axes are one of the most primitive old tools. The first axe, I believe, was a sharp rock made with with a stick and, and honeysuckle vines wrapped around it, if I'm not mistaken. I don't get into all the crazy history and all that of, of, of stuff I'm into, except logging history. I do like that. But, uh, so I'm, I'm just saying that I, I like thin-handled axes. Okay, I have, and, and there's a reason for it. There's a reason for it. So here, here's two beautiful examples. This is a Whiskey River. He calls it the 5C or the 30C or something he calls it. It is one of the most, most fantastic handles I've ever had in my hands. You guys know I had a real curvy one on my, uh, on my, my chopper, my Helco. It's a lovely handle. It's that one there. It's the curvy one. It's, it's gorgeous and it's sexy and it looks great and it does work very nice. It's just for every day. I, I do prefer my curve closer to the bottom of the handle than up here because that's what it is with that other one. This, this part of, of the handle starts higher. So you're throwing the curve, which can give you warble if you're not a qualified guy. And as I go along this journey, on the axe journey, um, that maple that I was splitting in the last video, I grew up on splitting that stuff. That, that's what it was out in Yellow Point where we, where we grew up, me and my mom, my brother. And, and that's what it was. It, it was crotchety old maples. 
Obviously, straight grain stuff, anything is pretty good to split, really. There are some straight grain woods that are very difficult because of their makeup. But uh, maples, alders, that stuff normally, is, you burp on it and, it and it splits. But the crotchety maples, big twisted crotches and, and branches in this and coming out of that, becomes difficult. It becomes difficult. So I grew up on that with, with a sledge and a, and a, you know, malls. And we'd break the mall handle and we'd just turn that head into a, into a wedge and we had sledgehammers or the back of the mall, a back of another mall. That's just how it was. That's what we did. As kids, friends, never mind now. That's why I'm into axes so much. So here's my here's my point. I, I want to explain something to you. Okay, let's put you guys up here, uh, and I'm going to give you my little fill in on uh, on the axe program. This is kind of what I think and how I feel about them. There's many different opinions. Um, I I'm one of the fellas that. that I'm old school in, in everything I do. It's just where my heart is. I was born like that. So here, here's, here's the deal. And how I'm going to do this is I'm going to show you this. This is a four pound head. It's a Tassie. It is a spectacular head. It is, friends. It's beautiful. It's got everything I like in a Tassie. I'm going to show it to you up close. Look at it. Pitted. Like, look at that sucker. It, it is really, really beautiful, friends. It's a Plum USA. It's pitted. It's, it's still got a beautiful head shape to it. I cleaned up the pole, did a few things to it. But there it is. But, okay, so here's the deal. Here's a thin 30-inch uh, Whiskey River handle. See it? I, I mean, look at the axe. Try and, try and unfocus on my hands. But, I mean, I mean look at it, right? You, do you know what I'm saying, friends? Like, look at the axe. It has, it has beautifulness to it, is what it does have. Big head, right? The head is where all the energy ends up. Not, not in the handle. So now here's another handle. A Colby Owen handle. Beautiful. White oak. I bought two dozen of them. I love them. I love Colby. He's a great man. Uh, this handle, friends... It's, 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 Colby's stuff's very nice. He builds, he makes his own handles. He has the lathe, the copy lathe, okay? Uh, this head is five pounds. This head is four pounds, okay? That's a lot when it comes to axe heads. This, this handle, so, so, so here I want to show you. So, so here, look at this axe, okay? Look at it. Looks old school, doesn't it? Look, big head, good, all the energy and inertias, all right out at the end and this will give you the the inclination of of what's going on right there see that okay see that's head that's head heavy this one this is where i like them out here in in an inch right there okay and this isn't hafted yet it's not half this guy here same idea right there but an inch okay hey that, that's that means something believe it or not it does now but here's what i'm talking about it, it's there's a difference okay now let's do this very quickly put this here okay this all right see the difference pretty much the same length but you can really see the difference in the handles, right? This one's skinnier. Whiskey River is, is skinnier, friends. Okay. This one's got a straight backbone. Belly. This one does not. Beautiful. It's beautiful. Now, so I, I was playing around with this head the other day, and, I, and I, I was hafting it for this. Look. Like I was. I was hafting this axe. Okay. Let's just give it a little tap, okay? So right away, instantly, right away, there's, it, it's not this, this isn't the problem. This isn't the problem. It's gonna be in that area when it's done, but there's still half the head to come up in there. I'm not gonna do it, I stopped. Because as I looked at this ax, as I started to look at it, okay? It, it wasn't feeling right. Something wasn't feeling right to me. 
To the average fella, probably nothing wrong with that. Probably just looks and feels fine. Does. And it, it is. But not for me. It, it's, it's, friends, it's changed for me. I, it's just changed. Uh, this head's too small for this axe. Or the handle's too big for this axe head. Just for me. Just for me. Okay? So, I hope you can see what I'm talking about. Okay? Now, that right there, yes, it's big. It, no question, it, it, is, it is pretty big for that. But, you wouldn't believe the amount of damage you could get done with all that inertia out there. You'd, you'd be quite impressed, actually. Do, do you see what I'm saying, friends? Okay. Right? Axe rant over. Now, I started making another, oh, let's open that up. I started making another uh, handle, hafting another handle. Where is it? It's, uh, it's here. Yeah, here it is right here. I love my draw knife, eh, friends? I do. I just get, I stick it in there and I go. I just, oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Right? I, I just, yeah, you know, I dig it. Okay. And I got I to gotta show you something. I got, well, I, I, won't, I won't bother boring you with the details there. That Ford truck is ready to go, but there's still an issue in it, and it doesn't want to fire. So I got to track it down, and I got to find out what's going on, because it's getting gas, and it's got spark. I'll figure it out. I'm building a split knack, friends, eh? I'm building a split knack. I'm, I'm building something that's called the wood bullet. I, I, I'm not having lugs on my axe. They're gone. I'm taking them off. I, I'm not having these. They're, they're leaving. It's going to be flat here. Okay? So I've got my design made again. And uh, I'm making a split axe. Not, not a, not a, uh, an everything axe. But it's a splitting tool. It's a splitting tool. It's called the wood bullet. So I've taken some some patterns, three or four patterns, and mesh them into one. And I'll show you what I'm gonna come up with when it's done. Okay, I've rambled enough. It's nice and warm in the bunk. Colby Owen, Whiskey River. Caleb, Axe Addicts. Caleb, I love you, brother. Mr. Hammer. GBA, I used to look for these axes all the time like this. This was my, this. if I found this four years ago, three, four years ago, I was like, that's gold. It's her. <laughs> GBA, right there. Yep. So this is a chopping axe and I actually even sharpened it more. Look at this, friends. That was when I was burning those handles. Remember making those, these things? I made a few. They're beautiful. If you've got one, you're lucky because I only made a few. Uh, chop an axe. Beautiful. Got a couple of these, actually. Friends, I love yous. Thanks for listening to my ramble today, watching my drumming, talking axes. Catch you on the next video. Be kind, work hard, be honest, and start your legacy now. Integrity's right there, right there. Just thank you. I'm going to do good things now. Over and out.